damage. You yeah. take what you can get. Oh no. <laughs> what is happening in the TARDIS? I fell. <laughs> you broke my TARDIS! The second the laughter stops, maybe I'll start. <laughs> now it's awkward. Now it's so quiet that I don't know what to do. What's up, Obamers? I'm Stacy, the nerdy bartender, and today we have a very special guest. We have Rob Hunt, who has been on the nerdy bartender before. For the Emperor! For the Emperor! Rob also has a series called Between Two Pines, where he interviews cool people like me. But what about the other important parts of being a bartender, like providing a sympathetic ear? I'm not that. I'm gonna yeah. start being mean to you pretty soon. Oh, damn, you saw it here. <laughs> oh, Stacy, you're the best. And you're not <laughs> drinking enough. Thanks for having me back, Stacy. You're very welcome. What are we going to do today? I mean, we did drop shots last time. How are we going to top that? We are definitely going to top it with... <laughs> Let's make some Qui-Gon Jin. Yeah! Yeah! Qui-Gon Jin! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Someone's passionate about their Star Wars. Hey, what the fuck's with the red lightsaber on your profile pic, hey? <laughs> you too. What is wrong with my profile pic? You picked the red lightsaber. Uh, yeah, because I'm a badass. No, you're just bad. There's a difference. Badass. No. We know Stacy's the evil one in the relationship, Mike. What about you? What's your excuse? Shut up, Mike. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All of this should stay. <laughs> We're going to make our very own gin today. But it's actually a special type of gin. It's called compound gin because we don't have a still. It's got to be Highlander. Got to cut my head off. Actually, I don't want to give her ideas. The ingredients you'll need are a Brita filter, a coriander or uh, midichlorianders, some vodka, juniper berries, botanicals, and finally lime peel because somebody has a green lightsaber. Can you guess who? So the first thing we want to do is filter the vodka and we need to do this six times. Because once isn't good enough. It's really never good enough. We need to do it at least six times. That's when you really know. <laughs> if she's the one. Or he's the one. Also remember, this is the worst vodka you can buy, but it's actually not as bad vodka, that's where it's for. Yeah, if you want the worst vodka you can buy, our American friends will recognize Skull Vodka. They don't just make chewing tobacco, they make vodka. Yo, I got a Britter filter and I'm filtering some vodka and I'm gonna make some gin for the bin of the brimmer. You're like, give me a I feel like I'm already drunk. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm failing. We got a name for it. Why don't I have any? Why does he get a wardrobe change and I don't? It's not fine. Not attractive, just temperature. <laughs> <laughs> I can't rap, but I really want to. I feel like I'm channeling my inner rapper. But I don't know how to rhyme. <laughs> we filtered the vodka about six times now. Yes, now let's pour it into the hipster jar. There are a lot of compound gin recipes on the internet. Many of them have different ingredients. The three, the trinity of important ingredients to make compound gin is, first of all, you need juniper berries. Juniper berries and coriander. And what's the third one? An angelica root. So we put all of that in here, as well as some dried orange peel, and we're actually gonna put in some fresh lime peel. Do it. Let's do the lime. And our botanicals. Now, we were talking earlier about what makes a London dry gin. Yes. For it to be a London gin, we need at least 51% of the botanicals to be juniper berries. I really want to be a rapper. If anyone would like to like help me with that, that'd be cool. I give it a little stir. Stirring is kind of my thing. It's best to stir it with your prison shit. Like a sharpened toothbrush. Crazy. Crazy. Well, cray cray. Show them your crazy eyes. Okay, so next up you want to just give this a little spinny spin. And then you want to put it in your TARDIS. Like this? We have let the gin sit for about two days now. It's time yes. to filter out all the crap. Yes! Like the first three movies. The cut of the of episode one, two, and three where they remove all of the romance dialogue is really good. So Stacy. I heard if you snort midichlorians, you get force powers. I'm in. 
Okay, when making your compound gin, it's always a good idea to leave a little bit of your leftover vodka so you can water it down if it's a touch too strong. Making a sip. Uh, can I get rid of this now? Sure. We don't like a dirty bar. Dirty bar is okay. <laughs> <laughs> Holy c- oh. <laughs> Whoa. That's bad vodka. Oh my god, it's really good actually, but it's just straight booze. Oh, that just like burns the hair right off your chest. <laughs> I keep trying to make Is this that work. your secret? <laughs> <laughs> we are going to cheesecloth filter this gin into this carafe. I'm really good for it. I wasn't kidding, I actually am. Oh, oh, no. Make a Qui Gon gin and tonic. Qui Gon? Absolutely. And we Go even have it. we have little slices of lime oh, for his really? green lightsaber. Can you laugh? Sh -sh -sh. Little tonic. Okay. And some ice. Do you have some uh, way to clean it? And just for fun, I think the stir stick should be a Qui Gon gin lightsaber. I feel like I'm ready to go negotiate trade delegations with racist stereotypes. I do not feel like I'm there. That is how you make a Qui-Gon Gin Wabammers. Thank you so much to our awesome guest, Rob Hunt. Make sure to follow him on the Instagram, the Twitter, the Facebook, the YouTubes. Qui-Gon Gin, everybody. Woo. Rob Hunt, everybody. Stacy Roy, everybody. Thank you. Lightsaber glow sticks for the win.